cosplayer, Yaya Han. How are you doing today? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me on the show. Now, how did you get your start in cosplaying? That was like 10 years ago, and I went to Anime Expo 1999, and that's the convention that did me in. Mm -hmm. I actually went as an artist. I was in the art show with a lot of pieces, yeah. and but I, I saw people dressed up in costume, and I thought it was so cool to not only draw your fa favorite characters, but also become them. So uh, I taught myself how to sew through lots of trial and error, and I've been making costumes ever since. Really? That's awesome. How long does it take you to, um, to make your costumes? Because they're pretty elaborate. Some of them uh, take up to four to five weeks, and that's working on them multiple hours a day. You know, yeah. definitely 100 to 150 hour total yeah. work. Some of them I can get done within like eight to ten hours if they're simple. A lot of like comic characters, you know, if they're spandex outfits, it's pretty easy to make. Yeah. So it really depends on the project. Where has cosplaying taken you? Oh, well, cosplay has taken me just about to every continent on the earth. Um, I'm about to uh, go to Japan for the first time in March. Awesome. 2010. Thank you. I've never been to Japan, and it's because my friend Anna and I, we won the Yume Cosplay Contest. Um, and uh, I've been to Mexico, Brazil, Italy, London, and uh, Germany for cosplay events, and uh, I just... It's amazing, you know, I love meeting people from different yeah. countries, different cultures. You might not be able to speak the same language, but you still share the same passion yeah. and love. So, it's awesome. What was your favorite um, country to go to? My favorite country? Um, actually, London was so much fun. So, the UK, the people were awesome because the, the ball event I went to, um, like literally cosplayers from over 10 countries attended so it was really nice to see people from all over Europe and Asia even and Brazil was amazing really? I mean I bet. <laughs> so enthusiastic and such fun people do you have a favorite costume of yours I know you make so many you've got to have one that's like your baby I they're all my baby that's the thing I, I it's hard for me to name a favorite because I put so much effort into each of them. Um, I have to say the newest outfit that I've made which is Carmilla from Vampire Hunter D Bloodlust. Uh -huh. That is definitely craftsmanship wise is my favorite. Um, one of the absolutely most elaborate costumes I've made. And uh, things like, I don't know, I like dressing up as you know some of the comic book heroes yeah. like Black Cat from Spider-Man. Um, and then some of my original creations, like the peacock dress I made, those are still to this day my favorite. <laughs> so what do you do when you're not cosplaying? Well, I run a small business uh, relating to cosplay. I have a line of products um, from like cosplay accessories and they're all handcrafted and designed and copyrighted by me. So I don't have that much free time. <laughs> so like making costume for myself is actually more the free time okay. hobby. But I love to read, I love to travel, even though I go to 25 conventions a year. Wow. Even in my downtime, I love to travel around. And other than that, I, I love movies, I have to say. I love, I love renting movies and going to see movies, anything, I just love it. What's your favorite movie? Don't ask me that. I couldn't tell you. There's no way. No way. Well, right now, Star Trek is pretty out there. The new that one. Is, yeah. Oh my god. I've got to get that DVD. Ni near perfect movie, man. Yeah. Yeah. What's one of the most interesting experiences that you've had while at a con? I've had many interesting experiences. Some good, some bad, some just plain awkward. Um, one of the most interesting is at Anime Week in Atlanta a couple years ago, uh, one of my fans went to my panel and brought a gigantic cake with my picture on it oh, wow. in costume. It was like, it was Felicia the Cat Girl. Uh -huh. So like if it had been a more like covered costume, it probably would have been like, wow, that's really cool and well, interesting. Yeah. But because it was like me in a bikini yeah. on a cake, it was like, oh my, you know? So uh, that was definitely ranked among there. 
but that night we did a sociology of cosplay panel. Mm -hmm. So we talked about why people cosplay, yeah. you know, what's behind the need to dress up. And so like, um, also the idol, idolization yeah. behind cosplayers. So we brought the cake to the panel and shared it with everyone. Okay. So that was kind of cool. All right. Yeah. Okay, so I've got to ask, because you have a lot of admiring fans out there. Are you single? I'm not. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, it's okay. I'm like, I'm still me. Still love me, please. <laughs> so. they'll, they'll love you anyways. The name of your website, what's, um, what's the address? Yes, um, you can find my costumes and more info about me at angelicstar.net. And soon, within the next two, three weeks, it will be yayahan.com. So, new comprehensive website, much easier navigation system. Check it out. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.